Hey everyone, Alicia here from Stretch It app. And on today's episode of Stretch It Fundamentals, we cover how to get those last inches in your front split. We'll go over the different props you can include in your training to help practice the exercises that will cover those last inches from the floor. Before we get started, make sure you have either two blocks, if not blocks, that you work near a chair or sofa, something stable to put your weight on, and you have something softer under the knee, specifically back knee. If not a pillow, you can roll up the edge of your mat or roll up the towel underneath the knee for more cushioning. In order to cover those last couple of inches in your split, oftentimes is a combination of targeting the psoas and quadricep muscles. I like to demonstrate this first in an open hip position. So if you need extra cushioning, place the pillow under your back knee and step other foot forward outside both hands. Bring your blocks in, place them under your elbows. If you need to work on something higher, you can place your elbows either on the seat of the chair or a sofa. As you lower down, ensure that your back hip stays low because we'll bend our back knee in trying to get the heel as close as we can to the hip. Notice, however, as you start to bend your knee, if your hip pikes back, if that happens, then we've lost our way in trying to cover those last inches because we're looking to mimic the back leg in a front split position, which is what our back leg is doing now. If it lifts, then we're higher off the floor technically. If we can bend the back knee, stretch the quadriceps while also stretching our psoas, then we can try to cover those last inches so our back leg can look flatter. You can also pivot on left elbow because I'm reaching with opposite hand. So right hand reaches back to left foot. And as you pull your heel in, the stretch will feel more intense. Be careful with this in order to not cramp the hamstrings. Again, important that you keep your hip low. If you want to advance the exercise, then you'll try to pull your heel to butt from an inside position. So you'll still have front foot forward, but now the toes face forward, the hip drops down. Keep your body upright, bend back knee, hand grabs from the inside of your foot, pivot your hand so fingers grab the toes. And as you pull the heel in, drop your hip at the same time. As you could probably assume, this is a lot more intense because you're upright. And now there's a higher requirement to drop your back hip at the same time you pull your heel to butt. And now when practicing front split again, when you extend front leg and we've done all our heel to butt variations, hopefully now you can get lower without necessarily opening your back hip and covering those last couple of inches so your back leg looks flatter in split. To further improve your splits, please check out our classes on the app. You can find the link down below in the description box. And if you want to see more classes like these, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. 